Welcome to the married people meeting. <laughs> I never wanted to be a husband. I'm gonna tell you right now, ladies, there's not a man in this room that wants to be a husband. No man woke up one day and was like, you know what, I'm tired of making my own decisions. I would like to be questioned all the time about everything I do. Why'd you park there? I don't know why you park there, why? Why would you park there? I don't know why. Oh, I can't take it, man, I lose it. Fine, tell me where to park, boss. Tell me where you want me to park this car, please. Oh my God, you're mad. You have anger problems. No, I have wife problems. Because I park this car all the time by myself. I never get mad. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's you. I've never once parked my car and said, why did I park here? Why would I park here? Oh, she's perfect, my wife. Never makes any mistakes. But this is the same person that walks around our house every day going, call my phone, can you call my phone? I, I, don't, I don't know where my phone is, can you? Babe, just call it, babe, call my phone. Ah, oh, it's in my purse. I had it on silent. Now where's my keys? I don't know where my keys are. Uh, she's always late, my wife. I'm late. I'm late, I can't find my keys. I'm gonna have to take your keys. Where are your keys? On the hook that says keys. That's, that's where my keys are. Oh, she'll take my keys. Leave me at home trying to find her keys. 20 minutes later, I'll get a phone call from her. Oh, I have both sets of keys. I'm sorry. No, sorry people bring their husband their keys back. That's, she's not coming back. I'm gonna tell you, I, she's, not, she's gonna do whatever she has to do. Now let me tell you something, people, if I have both sets of keys, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I better bring her her keys back. I could be a heart surgeon doing heart surgery. I'm like, fellas, I gotta go. But Dr. Trevino, if you leave, he'll probably die. Well, me or him, so. <laughs> My wife has a hair appointment. 